We all heard the interview of the former Director General of the Assam Rifles, Lieutenant General Pradeep Nair, who had pinned this foundation card. A few days before he retired, he gave an interview to ANI, where he clearly specified and said, the only casualty of a soldier of the Assam Rifles has been in a cookie dominant area. But yet, people are pointing fingers at them that they are favoring one particular community. No, which is not the case. When we say the Assam Rifles troops primarily come from the Northeast part, which means they are Maites. Also, oh, there are many Maites with the Assam Rifle. And if someone gives a wrong accusation on a brilliant force like the Assam Rifles, saying that they are favoring one particular community, so you mean to say the Maites in that force are saying the Kanga Kukis? No chance, yeah. They will only help the victim. If they see a Maite in need of help, they will help. If they see a Naga in need of help, they will help. If they see a Kuki in need of help, they will help. Yeah. They are there to maintain peace. Hello and welcome back to PP Chongloi Talk Show. Na bon saavin kahin le move. Dunia kahin ki hopeeding special guest hi ahile. Uh, a veteran former army officer ahi in amahi retired ahi wanga amelzon ahai sel na lion he was uh, mr pune 1999 the year i was born and also a couple of days back amahi director general sm rifles commendation card for his exceptional contribution towards nordis award song amohin talk show a ele movie hello hi p how are you I'm great. I'm great. Thank you. Thank you for your time. You being a retired army officer, I would like to ask you about the center's decision to remove the SM rifles from Manipur. So what's your opinion on this? You know, at this juncture, we needed the, you know, the SM rifles the most because they have been in the Northeast for the longest time. They have been serving and they know the people, the sentiments and everything. So at this juncture, why do you think the center is removing them? See, I will not uh, see there's a glass which is half full, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, whether you see the glass is half full or half empty, how I see that, I will tell you. Mm -hmm. I think Assam Rifle is a magnificent force, a brilliant force. In mm -hmm. fact, this is the Assam Rifle style that I'm wearing. Uh -huh. And this is the combination card that, which you just mentioned with the Director General of the Assam Rifles. Now he retired just about four days back. Mm -hmm. General Pradeep Nair, he pinned it to me on my chest, which I wear with a lot of pride. So I see it this way, that right now, also the situation of Jammu and Kashmir is also bad. So the way you would deploy special forces over there, similarly, because Assam rifles are so good, they've been chosen and selected to be deployed there. Now, regarding the troops of the Assam rifles, they are battle-hardened, they are rugged, they're solid, they're very competent. And of course, there's no doubt about the fact that Assam Rifles was primarily made for the uh, deployment in the northeast part of India. I agree to that. And uh, they've done a commendable job. Uh, in They are such troops. They will not just survive anywhere. They will thrive anywhere. You put them in Siachen Glacier, they will not just survive in Siachen Glacier. They will thrive over there. My own battalion, which I served with, with the, in the Assam Rifles, they have got a citation already in the valley in Jammu Kashmir. They've been there for the last couple of years. And they haven't moved now. They've, they have been there. The Assam rifle has been there for the last couple of years. And the same, my, my own battalion also fought, took part in the IPKF. Indian Peacekeeping Force in Sri Lanka mm -hmm. in the mid-80s. They were deployed. They did an exceptional job over there. Can you believe an Assam Rifles Battalion, which is primarily specialized in countering guerrilla warfare, jungle warfare in the Northeast, is going and thriving up North, down South. So now I say, if we say that Assam Rifle has been removed from Manipur, it will not be very good for the morale of the troops of the Assam Rifles. Uh, I don't know what the center has planned and what the thing, what the what, what, what the ulterior design is. I don't know for all that. I can't comment. But I see this way. I see that the Assam rifle has been chosen, has been selected to go the way we would put special uh, 
pauses in in a bad situation. Similarly, the Assam Rifles is so good that they have been asked to be deployed there. I see it this way. But I, if you ask me personally, I think Assam Rifle has done a commendable job in Manipur, particularly. My own postmate, my own postmate, I'll name him also, Colonel D. Sri Ram Kumar. He's still serving. He's a legend. He's got an Ashok Chakra for gallantry. And he got the Ashok Chakra for gallantry with the Assam Rifles in Manipur. Mm -hmm. So they are that good. Also, I would uh, like to quote Major General Cyrus Pithawala. When he was a young lieutenant, he got an Ashok Chakra, which is the highest award for gallantry, which is parallel to the Paramir Chakra. Paramir Chakra you get in war time. Ashok Chakra you get in peace time. He got the Ashok Chakra in Manipur itself. So I would say the Assam Rifles and Assam Rifles led by army officers. The discipline, turnout, their bearing, they are too good. When I to go out for patrolling, and I would ask my boys, Khana khaya? Have you eaten food? They would say, Hasab khaya. So they would never say, I know they would be lying. It's not that they had eaten food. They were just carrying an emergency ration. I said, no, 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 you guys, I can make out by your expressions. I can make out by your eyes. Because I am your officer. I am your company commander. I know you haven't had food. Come on, I'll give you half an hour. Go to the cookhouse, go to the langar, have food. Collect your shakal paras, namak paras, your dry snacks, and then we'll go for patrolling. So I think Assam Rifle has done a commendable job in Manipur. There is no question about it. And no one should point a finger at uh, their integrity. And they've been oftenly wrongly accused of favoring one particular community, one particular tribe, one particular. Let me tell you, it's a very, very neutral force. Assam Rifles comes from all India. All India. Primarily, yes, I'll admit, the uh, majority of them are from the northeast part of India. But I will explain one thing very, very logically. See, Assam Rifles have got a combination of people from UP, Bihar, Haryana, Punjab as well. They have a large composition from the northeast part of India. And when I say the northeast part of India, they are Nagal, they are people from Apatami tribe in Arachal, they are uh, Garos, Khasis, Jantia from Meghalaya, they are Maitis from Manipur, so they are Pangal also, they are Sanamai also, they are uh, Mizos also, they are people from, they are a whole lot of people, right? So now I will explain one thing very, very logically. If people say that the Assam rifle is favoring cookies, yeah? we all heard the interview of the former Director General of the Assam rifle, Lieutenant Pradeep Nair, who had pinned this combination card. A few days before he retired, he gave an interview to ANI, where he clearly specified and said the only casualty of a soldier of the Assam rifle has been in a cookie dominant area. They have operated in the cookie dominant areas, but yet people are pointing finger at them that they are favoring one particular community. No, which is not the case. Secondly, when we see the Assam Rifles troops primarily come from the Northeast part, which means they are Maites also. No, there are many Maites with the Assam Rifles. And if someone gives a wrong accusation on a brilliant force like the Assam Rifles, Saying that they are favoring one particular community. Do you mean to say the Maitis in that force are saying the Kavala cookies? No chance here. Yeah. They will only help the victim. If they see a Maite in need of help, they will help. Mm -hmm. If they see a Naga in need of help, they will help. If they see a Kuki in need of help, they will help. Yeah. They are there to maintain peace. So, um, the Assam Rifles have been maintaining neutrality. Um, whenever the need arises, they help the Maite innocent victims. At the same time, they also help the Kuki innocent victims. And just because the Maites couldn't digest the fact that the Assam Rifles help the innocent Kuki victims, they come up with false accusation that the Assam Rifles are siding with the Kukis. 
So is this really accurate from your point of view? Is this really what happens in the ground? Well, the Assam Rifles, I don't know who's accused what, but I can tell you one thing for sure and I can vouch with conviction. I have served with the Assam Rifles and let me tell you one thing. I got posted as an officer, though I grew up, I spent a lot of my happy times in the northeast part of India as a army officer's son. Mm -hmm. I spent a large amount of time in Manipur, in Kapchin, in Imphal, Thobal, mm -hmm. which is primarily Maite dominated. And I have a lot of friends who are very good people, who are Maite also, who are Kuki also, who are Naga also. And uh, the very fact is when Assam Rifles are very good force, very good, very, very professionally competent. When they get wrongly accused, it hurts. So no one should actually point fingers at them. No one should accuse them. Mm -hmm. They should respect them for their integrity. They serve with honor. They serve with, you know, our Assam Rifles song is Assam Rifles ke sipahi desh ki humne shan badai. Andi aaye ya tufan. Har afat se hum hai lardhe seema par hum jite mardhe. Bharat ke hum rakhwale, Bharat ke hum rakhwale. So mm -hmm. I just they read out some excerpts. This is what we believe in as well. They are why are they known as sentinels of the northeast? Friends of the hill people, friends of the northeast part of India. They specialize in the northeast part of India. There is no doubt, mm -hmm. but they are such a brilliant force. They can uh, thrive anywhere. So uh, it it is yeah. So that's what I mean. I. I, I would say that, you know, the people from the northeast part of India, mm -hmm. irrespective of the caste, community, religion, region, whatever, I think they are very, very cultured, very principled. They are people of their word. They never go back of their word. They always stick to their word. That's what my belief is and my experience has been. So, when I was there in the northeast part of India, I was the ADC to the core commander, the GOC 3 Corps, the GOC Spec Corps, which is headquartered in Nagaland, in Dibapur and Nagapur, but it looks after the whole of Manipur, the whole of Nagaland, the whole of Mizoram, the whole of Tripura, and a bit of Assam. So, every three months, I used to donate my blood. I have a certificate from the Red Cross Society for doing that. Not just that, not just while service. Today, I am not in uniform. I have got this combination card, which is very rare for a person outside uniform to get this. Mm -hmm. You know, last month, just last month, some people from the northeast part of India were here in Delhi and they, their uncle was unwell. I personally went there, they wanted blood. I donated blood over there again. And you know what? You know, I, I spoke to you earlier in uh, Nagamese, right? Yeah. Before yes. we started this conversation. Yes. So, so I would say, you know, I learned the local culture, the local languages, the dialects, not just of Nagaland only, mm -hmm. but for Manipur, I would like to say one thing for all the people from Manipur who are viewing, who are listening. I Nanganumshi Manipur. I Nanganumshi North India. So what was that? Uh, I love Manipur, yeah. I love Manipur like anything, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I said, uh, uh, Though that's not Manipur, in Manipur, that's in Nagamese. Okay. And uh, so I learned the local culture there. And mm -hmm. I was with the Assam Rifles, mind you, with people have maligned. So when my look, and I was there in northeast part of India on 28 September 2005, I stepped my, I first stepped in uh, Jiriba. Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, with Manipur, yes. And uh, people uh, often accuse the army or the Assam Rifles or any forces for something. When, and mind you, in 2004, the allegedly Madhurma Devi rape case had taken place. Mm -hmm. So the emotions, the sentiments, the passions were anti forces, anti Assam Rifles, anti army. If anyone would see us in uniform, they would hate us. Because that's the people would think that we are villains or something. You know, I think right in the fact that few months later on, I would say the, day, the very next year, 2005, when my local friends would see me in uniform. And mind you, our uniform 
is I accept the fact it looks slightly intimidating. Like, you know, if I wear a black patka, and that's not to scare anyone away, but that's to protect ourselves from dust. <laughs> and with the bulletproof patka jacket and the grenade launchers and the AK-47 and the magazines. So it looks intimidating, I, I admit it. Mm-hmm. If, we speak someone, if, if someone speaks to me in that way, I would be intimidated, frankly speaking. Mm-hmm. But when my local people would see me in uniform, mm-hmm. my friends, they would say, I was a captain that, that day, I was not a major, I was a captain. Captain Ali, you know, when we see you in uniform, we feel the Assam rifles is here, the army is here to protect us. We feel more safe with you, mm-hmm. not to That's intimidate right. us. Yes, so yes. I yeah, that, that image had begun to change. When I was while I was in Nagaland, I celebrated Sekreni, that's a Nagami festival, Warsu, Songremo, that's the Ao festival. Mm-hmm. For second August. In fact, today is what? The fourth of August. It's a time for the Ao festival, in fact. Mm-hmm. So I would celebrate and I would be organized health checkup free health checkup camps medical camps social service so we were like yes we are here to win hearts and minds so i believe in one thing i believe a gun will never get peace a gun will only bring pieces so today and i always stood as a soldier for peace i never believed in violence why because i had come from jnk and in JNK, I had seen enough of bloodshed. I had seen my comrades, my own brother soldiers, die in my arms. I had seen enough bloodshed. Mm-hmm. I know the pain. And you know what the toughest job for me in P was? My toughest job was not when I, mean, I was at the Indo Park border fighting militants or terrorists. No. My toughest job in the army, when I say the army, I mean the Assam rifle as well. When I was, while I served, was when I had to call up someone's home and inform them that their son, their brother, their father, their lover, their friend is no more in this world. Imagine what I would have felt while doing that. And the reactions, the screams from the other end that you come across. I still remember that. Every word, every breath of that. I remember that. And I still get goosebumps. Mm-hmm. I didn't want that to happen from any side. I believe in non-violence. I don't believe in uh, hatred at all. Mm-hmm. You know the most beautiful thing? I'll tell you. Just last month, I had the honor of interviewing Ambassador Gautam Mukhopadhyay on my YouTube channel. You know, I... Uh, do my best to get both the communities together to talk and whatever little bit I can contribute where the venom, the hatefulness should fade away, should die off. So, uh, Ambassador Gautam Mukhopadhyay was the ambassador to Myanmar, to Burma earlier. I am told his wife is uh, from Manipur and uh, she is also a former bureaucrat. She's a cookie. So, they invited me for an, an exhibition at the India International Center oh. about Chachan Pumar. So I had gone there. And outside the exhibition, I and I'm a very, very friendly person. I have a very, very friendly nature. I like to joke with people. You know that P, like when I told you, oh, you are born in this year, which you just mentioned, 1999. Okay, I, I made a, I, I was just joking with you at that time or something. So I met this girl and uh, I asked her what her name is. And she told me a name which was not Cookie, definitely. It was a mighty name. Mm-hmm. And I was very happy. Okay. I was very happy that, at least in Delhi, yes, that people have that. And you know, a common Cookie and a common Maite, what do they want? They want peace. They want to live together. They want to coexist together. They want to live in love and harmony. A common person, a common man. So I would urge my brethren from Manipur not to let hate set it, be it from my side, be it from Kopi side. Because then what will happen is we will become scapegoats of somebody else's sinister designs who wants to make a fight, who wants to create tension and hatred. 
we would not do that. Why should we fall prey to that? And who will buy the brunt? Who will buy the brunt? A common person, unfortunately, like our dear brother David last year. Mm -hmm. A common Maite, like there's just two teenagers who went missing on a bike. Mm -hmm. What was their fault? Nothing. Yeah. So we should actually try to build bridges. And let me tell you, I am very keen and forthcoming on this because I have kept my channel of communication open with the cookies as well and with the mighties as well. And everyone knows that. So I can be used as a very, very good bridge over there. Mm -hmm. I'm in good terms with both communities, with cookies and with mighties and with Nagas as well. I've been trying to calm the situation down in my little, own little way. I've been telling people, no, don't. Let negativity set in. And I'm certain that, you know, again, Assam Rifles, as I mentioned, Assam Rifles is something, I had a very, very happy tenure with the Assam Rifles. In fact, there's an interview of mine with uh, Colonel Rajiv Barman. He is a Paras officer. Maroon Berry, the elite forces. He, we had served together in Nagaland in 2005. And in the interview, it's there on my YouTube channel, you can see that, you know, he has mentioned that the Assam Rifle soldiers are at par with the special forces. He has compared them to that level, and which is a fact. They are rugged, they are tough, they are well-trained, they are well-equipped, they are highly motivated. One of the most competent force, very neutral, very neutral, and I think it will be incorrect to cast aspersions. I heard a BSF former ADG, Mr. Mishra, talk on News 9 with Karthikeyan, saying that Assam Rifles must go for Manipur. Immediately I said, no, that's not the fact. I interviewed another former BSF ADG, Mr. Sood, the next day. And he praised the Assam Rifles in that. He said, Assam Rifles totally impartial. Mm -hmm. So the very fact is, we should not cast aspersions on people who defend us, who are there to defend. And let me tell you, the Assam Rifles are there to defend the Maitis as well. As I that they, are, they will defend, uh, and they're not favoring cookies, huh, by the way. They're not favoring cookies, they're favoring anyone, anyone, irrespective, the caste, creed, religion, region, wherever, who is being victimized. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. And they will discharge their duties impartially. And I know for a fact that they will thrive wherever they go. Thank you so much for your clarification, for your time. You have, you know, life coming up in a few minutes. So uh, I believe that this conversation we had uh, will be, you know, uh, a source of hope that will be instilled in my people as well as in the my times. Uh, thank you so much once again. May God bless you.